Hello, boys and girls. Today, we're going to read a book called What If You Had Animal Eyes? What? Uh, a book by Sandra Markle. She's the author of the book, illustrated by Howard McWilliam. Wow. What if you had animal eyes? Look, let's look at the cover. Uh, this is called, what, sir, what is this called? Oh, an informational text. Informational means that will give you information on certain items. Okay, y'all ready to get this party started? Let's go. What Miss Sandra Marco has to tell us. Okay, here we go. Grab your popcorn. Grab your soda. Grab your Twizzlers. Grab your M&Ms. Grab your bananas. Okay, here we go. What if one day you woke up, the eyes on your face weren't yours? What if overnight, a wild animal's eyes took their place? Oh, well, I don't know how I'd feel about that. How would you feel? Uh, I, I got a strange feeling this boy in the book probably going to be very much surprised. Huh. Sir. Have you ever dreamt about waking up with wild animal eyes? What? Well, I guess not. Chameleon. Okay, I like chameleons. A chameleon's eyes stick out like twin telescopes. These cone-shaped bumps are actually fused together eyelids that are open just enough to peek through the limits the chameleons this limits the chameleon's view. But these eyes can do something tricky. Each eye moves separately. Whoa! Did you know that? Each eye moves by itself? Separately. That way, the chameleon can look for prey, such as crickets, in two directions at once. My grandma used to do that. When a chameleon spots prey, it focuses both eyes on it. That way, it doesn't miss catching a meal. Wow. Can you imagine moving one eye to the left, one eye to the right, one eye up, one eye down? That's amazing. Oh, that's what we would look like with chameleon eyes, right? If you had chameleon eyes, you could look around the toy store fast to find exactly what you want. Wow, man, you look to the left, look to the right. Oh, there it is, Play-Doh. <laughs> what would you do with chameleon eyes? Remember, that means one eye can move and the other moves the other way. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, this guy, he looks like he means some serious business. Golden Eagle, say Golden Eagle. A golden eagle has laser sharp vision. This bird can see up to eight times better than most people. Yep. It can also spot its prey up to two miles away. Whoa, two miles away. In a flash, the golden eagle can shift its eyes from focusing on something far away to something up close. This is perfect for keeping an eye and catching a fast hopping rabbit. Whoa. A golden eagle's fact, 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 fact. Here we go. A golden eagle's eyes have a third eyelid that sweeps across the eyes like windshield wipers, keeping them clear. Whoa. Three eyelids. Can you imagine? That means if dust falls in them, they show one eyelid. They still got two. Oh, that's amazing. And if it rains, they can still see, right? Wow. Golden eagle eyes. Amazing. Ha! That's true right here. That's true. If you had golden eagle eyes, you could sit up high in the stadium and still see the football game. So, sir, you know how you always are really cheap and want to sit way up high at the games? Well, if, if we had eagle eyes, we could probably see. But usually we just see like little ants. Oh, all right, all right. Dragonfly. A dragonfly's eyes are huge. 
They have to be. Because each dragonfly uh, has up to 30, ti 30 tiny lenses. Did I read that right? Let me see. 30,000 tiny lenses. A human eye only has one. You only have one, sir. What up, though? Oh, he says me too. Huh. Are you sure? What? Anyway, dragonfly has 30,000 lenses. Scientists aren't sure how a dragonfly's brain creates images from all those lenses. But they do believe having so many lenses lets the dragonfly spot movement fast. That makes sense. That's true. That's true. Uh-huh. That's how a dragonfly can see a fly mosquito in time to catch it. Fact. A dragonfly has three extra eyes that help guide its flight path by sensing bright light and shadows. Whoa. Three out of the 30,000 lenses are just for bright light and shadows. My goodness. Dragonflies. Amazing. <laughs> Look at this guy. If you had dragonfly eyes, you would be a star reporter because you'd never miss any other action. Very true. Very true. Dragonflies. I don't want no dragonflies, though. I don't want to see 30,000 images. Hmm. Oh, a clouded leopard. Oh. Sir, you need to be careful with these. What up? I know. I know. I've ran into them. A clouded leopard's eyes have a special mirror-like layer at the back. This layer reflects lights back through the retina. The part of the eye packed with light-sensing cells. This helps the clouded leopard see well in the dim light at nighttime. Oh, wow. That mirror-like layer is also what makes the clouded leopard's eyes seem to glow. Oh, no, glowing eyes. Fact, the clouded leopard has slit-shaped pupils opening where light enters the eyes. These can expand about 100 times to let more light in. A human's round pupils only expand about 10 times. Oh, man, can you imagine seeing this at night? Glowing eyes from a clouded leopard? Ho, oh, that would be kind of scary for me. Ha, ho, oh, but here we go. Look, look at this little girl's eyes. If you had clouded leopard eyes, you'd never be surprised in a dark haunted house. Nope, 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 sir. You would never be surprised. Oh, bullfrog. Ha, look at this guy. Bullfrog. Sir, you kind of look like a bullfrog. Okay, we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. You still gonna bring me bananas, right? Okay, I, I guess I better be nice to Sir. He got mad because I told him he looks like a bullfrog. A bullfrog's eyes are on top of its head, so the frog can hide underwater and still watch out for enemies. Its eyes are also wide apart. That way a bullfrog can see nearly all the way around itself without turning its head. But these eyes help a bullfrog do more than just see. When a bullfrog swallows, it closes its big eyes. <coughs> That's why you're coughing, sir. Okay. It closes its big eyes when it swallows. Its eyes sink down through openings in its skull and help push meals down its throat. What? Wait a minute. You telling me that every time it closes its eyes, it's able to swallow food? Wow. What? Man, that's amazing. Did you know that, boys and girls? A bullfrog's eyes catch each half a third see-through eyelid. When a bullfrog dry, dives underwater, these eyelids slide over its eyes. That's perfect built-in swimming goggles. Whoa. I didn't know that. Did you? Did you know that, sir? Even though the bullfrog looks like you? You don't have a third eyelid, though, right? Oh, okay. But sir does look like bullfrog. Yep. Ah, okay, okay. Ha. Do you see the picture, sir? Yeah, I told you he looks like you. If you have bullfrog eyes, you will blink let you swallow a big bite. 
Oh, look at this. Look at this young man. He, 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 he probably, oh, is that a big chicken bone? Yeah, <laughs> it is. <laughs> four-eyed fish, another beautiful specimen. A four-eyed fish really has only two eyes, but each eye has two different parts. Each of these four parts has its own pupil. So what are you doing? What are you doing? A, a book? This fish keeps half of it of each eye underwater. Look at look at it. Half of its eyes under the water, looking for insects and smaller fish it eats. It keeps the other half of each eye above the water, watching for birds and predators there after a fish dinner. That's pretty smart, if you ask me. So half of his eye is on top of the water. The other half is on the bottom looking for for, for, for what? Insects and smaller fish to eat. The top part is looking for things that can eat him. <laughs> super smart. Super smart four-hour fish. Man, I, that guy, he know, he's got skills. Fact. Four-hour fish usually travel in groups called schools. So there are always lots of eyes watching in every direction. Yeah. Four-hour fish. Half of the eye looks up for predators. Half of the eye looks down so they can search for their prey. Ah. Oh, look at this girl. If you had four-eyed fish eyes, I'm sorry, if you had four-eyed fish eyes, you could read while riding your bike and never take your eyes off the road. Ha! That's still, that's still pretty dangerous. I don't recommend that at all. But that is pretty funny. Right? You can look at a book and keep driving. Cool, cool, cool. Yellow mongoose. Oh, man. Look at this guy. He looks slick. The yellow mongoose eyes have rectangular pupils. Oh, let me look at that. He sure does. He sure does have rectangular pupils. These give it a very wide view of its world. That means the mongoose can easily spot insects and lizards to catch and eat. It also keeps watch for hunters, such as jackals sneaking up from the far left or right. When there is danger, its special eyes also help it spot escape routes. This, the yellow mongoose is mainly active during the daytime. It can see best. Man, these mongoose look really nice. They got rectangular eyes. Rectangular eyes. My goodness, I didn't know that, did you? Fact, to see farther and peek over bushes, the yellow mongoose stands up tall on its hind feet. Look at it. I don't know if you can see that picture on the bottom, but he's standing on his hind feet. That's right. Man. This mongoose has rectangular eyes. Sir, mongoose has rectangular eyes. Do that, bro. Well, I know, but it's fun. If you had yellow mongoose eyes, you'd always win that laser tag. Why? Why would you always win that laser tag? That's right. Because those rectangular eyes let you see far. Amazing. Oh, my goodness gracious. Colossal squid. Can you say colossal squid? A colossal squid has the biggest eyes in the world. Each eye is as big as a soccer ball. What? Eyes as big as a soccer ball? Wow. At the back of each eye is a part that produces its own light. It's like having built-in flashlights that are always on and glowing brightly. What? what? Huh? So they got flashlights in their eyes? Colossal, sir, did you know these colossal squids have, have flashlights in their eyes? That's amazing, don't you think? But don't you, I know, sir thinks it's amazing too. I sometimes wonder if he has flashlights in his eyes too at night. Okay, I, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's playing, it's playing for you. I still think he does. This makes it easy for colossal squid to find fish to eat, even though it lives deep down in the ocean where it's always dark. Okay, so he has flashlights in his eyes because he needs it to adapt, right? Because it's always dark down in the deep ocean. Fact, scientists can take photos of living colossal squid because they live so deep. So you never see pictures of this. Our closest peak is seeing their cousin, the giant squid but their eyes can't produce light. Okay, so this is actually a illustration from the great Howard McWilliam. 
we never really got a picture of the colossal squid. Just its cousin, the giant squid. But the giant squid does not have flashlight in his eyes. But the colossal squid does. Fun fact, you learned something new today, right? Colossal squids have, like, flashlights in their eyes. Ha ha! Oh, if you have colossal squid eyes, you can go on nighttime hikes without a flashlight. Without. That's right. Because they have flashlights in their eyes. Kind of crazy. Llama. Llama. In Spanish, it's called llama. <laughs> llama over. Llama me. Llama me on the phone. Right, sir? That, that's what you say all the time? Hold on. What I can say? Llama. Llama, 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 llama. <laughs> okay. A llama has black bubble-like crystals that form fringe at top, the top and the bottom of its pupils, where the light enters their eyes. In bright sunlight, these crystals turn into bands that stretch across the pupils. These bands block so much light from entering the, the llama's eyes that it's like having built-in super dark sunglasses. A llama's thick, bushy eyelashes also make great sunshades. Fact, a llama's extra long eyelashes let it feel when it is getting close to something so it doesn't get poked in the eye. Look at this. Llama's eyes. Man, he looks like a smooth criminal. My goodness. Look at he looks slick, right? Like nothing bothers him ever. Nothing. Like, hey guys. Hi, I'm a llama. I'm just gonna hang out. Ha <laughs> ha! This llama's cool. If you had llama eyes, you wouldn't be blinded by the bright spotlights during your big solo. So they have those eyes. And the spotlight, the sun, and the bright light doesn't bother his eyes, right? Now, nah, that's amazing. These animals are great. <gasps> but, but, but I don't like the desert horn viper, sir. Oh, it's just a book? Okay, so you want me to continue? Okay, but it's just a book, right? Okay. Oh, that's not funny, sir. <laughs> uh, you think you're funny, sir. All right. If y'all see a, 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 a desert horn viper, please tell me, okay? A desert horn viper's eyes have clear eyelids that do not open or close. That means the snake can't blink to clean its eyes, but it doesn't need to. Its eyelids work like safety goggles. Because it lives in hot deserts, the viper usually waits until it's cooler at night to go hunting. Yep, at night. Huh. So would that make him nocturnal? Okay. Then the snake slit shaped pupils open wide so it can find a mouse or lizard for dinner. Whoa. It could, it could shut its eyelids. That's amazing. Fact. Each time a desert home viper sheds his scaly skin for a new one, it gets new clear eyelids too. Oh man, like getting a new pair of glasses. Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> Look at this. If you had horned viper eyes, you wouldn't need safety goggles to do science experiments, right? Because that's always being protected. Oh, hey. Wait a minute. What? 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 I'm assuming this guy's like a cousin. Tazier. Hey, Tazier's eyes are a huge part of its little body. Hey, little man. Its giant eyes and large pupils are perfect for hunting tiny insects during dark nights. A Tazier can move its eyes because of how its skull bones support them. Luckily, it can turn its head far enough around to look over its shoulder and see what's behind it. That way, it can keep an eye out for predators such as wildcats and large snakes, like that desert horn viper. Oh my goodness. Fact, each of the Tazier's giant's eyes weighs more than its brain. <laughs> his eyes weighs more than his brains. My goodness. I wonder if he sees more than he thinks. I don't know. Here we go. Oh my goodness gracious. That, that picture has Tazier eyes. If you had Tazier eyes, 
you could easily watch for base stealers and time to throw them out. That is true. That is very much true. Oh, wild animal eyes can be fun for a while, but you don't need your eyes to light the way or to look in two directions at once. And you never use your eyes to spot something two miles away or to help you swallow your dinner. So if you could keep wild animals' eyes for more than a day, which kind would be right for you? What kind of animal eyes would you like? Hmm. Let, let, let's go ahead and think for a little bit. Hmm. Have you thought about what eyes you'd like? Huh? Well, what about you? Luckily, you don't have to choose. Your eyes will always be people eyes. They'll be what you re need to read books, check out the stars at night, and see the people you love all the time. That's true. That's very true. What's special about your eyes? Your eyes work with your brain to help you see. Light into your eyes through your pupils, the black spots in the center of the colored part of the eye, the iris. I have an aunt named Iris. Yeah, I can do it. Okay, okay. Your eyes work best when the amount of light entering your eyes is just right. In bright light, your pupils get smaller to block light out. Did you know that? Your pupils get small when there's bright light. Uh-huh. Yep, that's right. In dim light, your pupils get wider to let in as much light as possible. Once light enters your eyes, it passes through the shiny, clear lens of the eye. From the lens, light travels through a clear jelly that fills the inside of the eye. It goes all the way to the layer of the back called the retina. The retina is made up of special light-sensitive cells. When light reaches these cells, it triggers them to send signals to your brain. Your brain figures out those messages quicker than a blink, and it sends out its own signals to let you understand what you're seeing. Wow, that's a lot of information. Keep your eyes healthy. Here are some tips for taking care of your eyes. Be careful to keep anything, even your fingers, from touching your eyes. That's right. Be careful with your eyes. Wear glasses if you need them to help you see better. Some of my friends have glasses. Wear protective eyewear during sports activities and science experiments. Always wear your safety goggles in the lab. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Wear sunglasses whenever you're outside, even if it's cloudy. Put your sunglasses on. Have regular checkups with your family's eye doctor. Wow. I hope you enjoyed today's informational text about eyes, right? Okay, boys and girls. I hope you have a good afternoon, and we'll talk to you later. Later.